Hi guys, it's Dominic here from First Time Parent YouTube channel. Thank you once again for joining me in my videos. Please subscribe and like these videos. In this video, we're talking about something um, which I believe a lot of parents go through and it's the financial pressure of having a child. The financial pressure of having a child is, you know, as well as tips between relationships and couples. You know, the, the biggest, the, the financial aspect of raising a child is what scares most people. Can we afford it? How is it going to have an impact on our relationship if we can't afford it? You know, what kind of life are we giving the child if we can't afford to give them the things that we had? That's normal. Okay, that's normal. A lot of parents, a lot of people that have children and in their late 20s, early 30s, a lot of us um, have enough money to, to look after ourselves. But when you introduce a child into the, into the mix, there becomes a bit of fear. Okay, fear is, is normal. Fear is usually associated with change, okay? But fear is usually comes from the lack of knowing, a lack of understanding of, of, of what's going to happen, okay? So we fear what we don't really understand, okay? So once we get there, once we have the child and the first, second, third, fourth month goes by, the fears tend to subside. But financial pressure, the financial pressure of having a child, and as the child gets older, it's more and more um, demanding, okay? More and more, need more and more money, and the children become more and more expensive as they get older. That's that's normal. Okay, but a lot of the time, we a lot of people struggle financially, and the reason why they struggle financially is because of how they view money. It's their it's how they see money and, and their thoughts about money that hold them back in terms of achieving more uh, achieving their financial goals. Okay, so if the financial pressures of having a child. Are always going to be there if you want to uh, to get rid of that pressure if you want to, to make yourself feel better about your finances change how you view money okay change some of the the previous thoughts and the previous habits and the previous ideas you've had about money and if you can change the way you perceive money you can change um, how much money you get I believe I believe that we the way we think about money, whether it be positively or negatively, it has a direct impact on how much money we see. Okay, so look at how you view money. Are you are you the type of person that says, well, you, you, you know, you can never have, you know, money isn't everything. You can never really, have, you know, I'm happy with just with what I have. But are you are you someone that, or are you someone that's that wants more, that wants to provide for their children? Are you someone that that's willing to sacrifice a little bit of their of their weekends and late nights to in order to acquire enough money for your for your child for your children you see you're, you're you need to change some of the the previous thoughts and the previous ways you view money a lot of people you know especially people that come from from poorer backgrounds have this thing this perception about money and they they view money in a certain way and they, they often view money in a negative way and having like having a lot of money equates to you changing and you being a negative person and you being someone that's greedy or you being someone that's pretentious or someone that doesn't give back. You know, and a lot of the times when you send out those type of signals, and I believe in in what you're focusing on magnifying, what you're focusing on coming about more. I believe that. And I believe that when you if you change your 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 view towards money. You know, some of the get rid of some of the, the negative baggage we may have picked up 10, 12, 13, 14 years ago from from someone random, you know, or maybe in our family or someone we heard, a friend or or someone. If we can get rid of some of the some of the ideas we believe about money. We can click, make start start afresh and start to and start to build um, a new outlook towards money. Okay, I believe that when you focus on money. And focus on, on, on obtaining wealth and, and relieving that financial pressure. If you focus on doing that, and you focus on doing that in a positive light, is you know action, focusing on a positive light, understanding that your 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 thoughts, your feelings, your feelings aren't facts. Understanding your feelings towards money and your feel aren't factual. And I believe that it, it is you, you have to start looking at money from a factual point of view. Understanding that other people have made millions and have made lots of money from worse backgrounds so if they can do it there's a fact that you can do it the question is are you willing to sacrifice 
what they've sacrificed? Are you willing to work as hard as they worked? Are you willing to to go through the the the, the, the phases where you where you doubt yourself? Are you willing to go through the phases where you where others doubt you, where you, where you where you've made mistakes and you may have lost a little bit of money? Are you willing to do that and keep going? These are so you change. So if you're looking to ease, it's because see, a lot of people I know they've never really made large sums of money. They've never really really made large sums of money, the sums of money you hear um, celebrities and stuff make. They've never made anywhere near close to that money. And the reason why is because they need to change their perception of money, they need to change how they think about money. And when you think about money from the right type of perspective, when you think about it from a positive perspective, when you think about it, when you would, when you start admiring people for making certain business moves opposed to opposed to be jealous of someone making certain business moves, once you start admiring and start to start researching and start, you know, conducting yourself in, in a manner that allows you to achieve those type of goals, your life will take on a whole new meaning. It, things will be completely different. A lot of the time we have a negative stigma attached to rich people. We have a negative um, connotation attached to um, making large sums of money. And the, all those negative connotations, negative, negative perceptions we have of money, aren't true. They aren't true. They're not factual. It's a feeling and our feelings aren't facts. Okay guys, so if you're looking to having a child, if you're looking to get rid of that financial um, pressure, which is which for the most part is always going to be there, but if you want to be if you want to be in control of your finances, change how you perceive money. Money is important. It isn't everything but it is important. And change how you view it, see it in a positive light and things will work out. Okay guys, this is Dominic here from First Time Parent YouTube channel. Please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in the next video.